peace my peoples please like comment subscribe share the video it'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart my peace my peoples so let's talk about the challenge season 32 episode 7 i am so glad i did tune in to see anisa take on veronica hopefully anisa kills this challenge but we see veronica broke her hand and it's so good for anisa to take on you know, Veronica, because Veronica accused her of outing her. Veronica accused her of taking advantage of her. Um, like, she wanted to, you know, molest her or rape her. Or, you know, because they were drinking that night. And so she said, oh, my God, she took advantage of me. I, you know, I was so vulnerable. And she did this, she did that to me. Basically, she was horrible. She was horrific the way that she did Anissa and they were friends. And so it's so good to see that. I'm so glad you know, Anissa has this chance to do this. So I wonder if um, Veronica hand is her finger is broken. Does that mean she can't compete? And is, will she be disqualified? That's what I would like to know. Is she gonna be disqualified? <laughs> MG, that would be great. So, anyways, let's get it started. Let's talk about you know Victor. <laughs> you got. <laughs> Um, bananas feels like Victor is after him, but in the last video, I told you guys that you know, um, I I, th I told you my thoughts that I believe that Bananas is the one that was behind the letters, and it actually came true. Bananas is behind the letters. I'm surprised nobody on the show they know Bananas. This is something Banana would do. So Bananas, he had his sister write letter, write these notes for him, so he can play mind games, because that's what Bananas do. If he's not playing mind games. And he's not open if he's not out in the open going after people he's doing something behind the scenes that's just how he works and also he lets you know um, Leroy know so you know now that Leroy and bananas are tight because he let Leroy in on a secret <clears throat> and so right now Nicole called out you know Jimmy and thinking Jimmy thinking Jimmy is writing the letters and stuff like that and, and bananas is loving this to death that is such a good <laughs> thing that bananas did do so anyways you have Tony um Victor and Kyle and um they feel like you know Brad is you know kind Brad is like they feel like Brad is Brad might you know win the elimination or whatever Oh no, Tony votes for Victor. I'm sorry. Tony votes for Victor to go into the elimination route. Kyle votes for Victor and Bananas vote vote for Victor as well. So Victor is going in and I was like I knew Victor was going in because Natalie wanted Victor to go in and also Banana thinks he's real sneaky, but come to find out, you know who might be even sneakier than Victor? None other than Kyle, because Kyle thinks he's going to play stupid and play like a drunk, and he's going to actually win the game. But Bananas always pays attention, and, you know, Kyle giving Banana pointers on, you know, the challenge that comes, on, comes up later in the episode, it's going to have Bananas thinking. So anyways... Um, Brad and Victor are going to go up against each other in the elimination round. And basically, they're in a tank of water, and they have a red line around the tank, and they have to get the water out past, past get the water out of the tank with their body. And once they reach that red line, they have to grab the hammer and break the tank that they're in, um, some glass tank. It reminds me of, like, all the um, shows that used to come out on Fox 64, like... Um, uh, I can't even think of the name of the show, but it used, they used to always use that tank, a tank like that or whatever. Have sharks, snakes, and all types of shit in there. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, you know who wins? Um, Brad. Brad wins. He's happy. He's, he ends up making a wave with the water. He was pushing the water back and forth with his body. So, he was actually using a strategy. And Victor was actually flashing the water which was not a good idea. So now we know who won, and it's Brad. Brad wins. He's happy, and he has a vendetta with these guys, but he's going to try to use some leverage so they won't vote him in next or whatever. And so it does work that he does win. He does get the grenade, and he has um, – he can um, run time, crunch time, basically, and um, he can blindside somebody as well. And um, – blindfold somebody so blindside crunch time 
sit out the game and blindfold them are the three choices that brad has for the grenade and he plans on using them but he's going to use it as leverage because he feels like he is not making any friends in a house because he's just not and people don't like him but it seems like the house that was going after him and you know um brett it seems like they kind of fanned off of brett and brad because he did get the grenade so does that mean next <laughs> next episode they're going to be going up against brad again and um brett we'll see because brett is still leroy's you know um vendetta so anyways he wins and he's happy and so then we get carl marie and kyle basically you know kind of you know making out and kissing and he's talking about he doesn't even like marie he hates her the most or whatever but then later on in the episode he acts like he doesn't like he doesn't like natalie because she he feels like she's playing the game and she's you know playing both sides so we'll see what happens with that situation i was like damn <laughs> and so but it's, it seems like like kyle you know he seems like he what to me it seems like he's kind of using Kara, you know, get information out of her, asking her about Brad, and then she talked. Then he talked about you know she was like I hope you know he puts up one of the girls that I have beef with or whatever, and then Kyle was like well I hope it's Marie because you know she seems like a royal bitch or whatever, a uh, royal pain in the ass, and you know Kara Marie was like well you wasn't feeling like that on the first day he was like oh total mistake, and so. You know, Kyra, she gets up and she says, you know what, I think, you know, Brad is really, I mean, Kyle is really helping me. Then I was like, how the hell is he helping you? So now that he's back on the track, the, the Traka again, he, he makes sure that Kyra's safe, but Kyra's name wasn't going to come up anyway. So moving on from that, you know, Kyra thinks that she has a knight in shining armor. We'll find out if she does actually have one. And so, um... <laughs> So we find out that Sylvia went home because she was sick. She went home because of medical reasons. So that sucks. And we have, um, now we're getting ready for the next challenge. And the next challenge um, is going to be two teams. I think the blue team and the green team, if I'm not, if I'm wrong, it's going to be in the slideshow. And basically the Trika gets to pick the teams. And so the Trika actually picks, make sure they pick Brad because he has a grenade and they don't want him to use it against them. And they want to throw Shane in. So they make sure Shane is on their team, but they didn't make sure Leroy is safe. So Leroy is on the opposite side of the team. He's not with his boy Bananas. So basically, it's going to be a two-part elimination. Two people are going to be a double elimination, guys and girls tonight. And so the challenge is for, you know, for them to, um, it's CT and it's Anissa basically. And it's, they have to put together a puzzle, and the puzzle is of CT and Anissa, who and they're all gonna be chained together. And whoever fits finish the eliminate finish the challenges win, finish the challenge win. So that's the green team, and that's at, with Brad and Bananas. Then you're gonna have the blue team with you know Zach, Gosh, and you know Leroy, Veronica, and Brett as well. So as they was picking the teams, you know. Um, Kyle said to Bananas, hey, listen, make sure we get, you know, Shane on our team and also make sure we get girls on our team that's going to vote for Shane as well to go in. And so that was like, oh, my God, you're so smart. And so then Kyle was like, I'm really pulling the strings. They think I'm just a drunk. Not really. Bananas doesn't let shit fly. Maybe Tony, but Tony's playing really different now. So it's been a long time since we've seen a rookie, you know, getting close to Bananas. We'll see how long that lasts before Bananas cut the ties and cut the strings. <laughs> and so, then moving on from that, Brad throws the penalty towards the um, blue team. And he says that it's because a Cam called his name, you know, and the last challenge. And she had no reason to. Um, so, he threw her in. Kyle win. It seems like, you know, Brad threw, Brad threw, you know, um, Sylvia in, and now he, you know, gives the time crunch because the camera's like, why are you coming out to, after the women, Brad? Why don't you stand up and come after the men? Don't be, you know, you know what. <laughs> so, anyways, moving on from that. So, you know, the green team wins, the blue team loses. I'm like, damn. Um, 
And I was like, and Leroy was saying that he felt kind of nervous because, you know, he's the team that he's on is a good chance that he can go in. And he wasn't lying because I thought he was really going to go in. I really thought, you know, Leroy was going to go in. But thank God he did not go in. So anyways, um, so now after that, you know, they have to pick, they have to pick one person from the losing team to to automatically go into the two people from the losing team to automatically go into the elimination round. And then also the green team gets to pick a new Traka. And the Traka that they pick, a Banana steps up because Banana said that there's too many people, six people that you're going to start beef with. So he steps out and he votes for Tony and he votes for Kyle and he throws Nicole in because all of them are going to put in, you know, Shane. And it is what it is. And so um, Shane got the Corey treatment. And so, um, they throw Shane in, but Shane shouldn't have, he shouldn't have went against, you know, Victor and all that other stuff before, the night before, because he don't have no alliance no more, so it was probably a good thing that Shane went home, because he was going to keep going in and in and in, and the people that Devin was trying to make an alliance with, he was one of them, so he just, he just torpedoed that, and so, um, the tray gets picked, and Shane was like, you know, that, that means I'm going to go in. And Nicole was like, yes, you're going to go in. You're going to go in because you're a number Shane Elias, Shane this, Shane that. And she's just basically talking mad shit to Shane. And he ain't saying nothing back or whatever. But she's all up in his face like she's a man. You know what I mean? Like, you know. And so then, you know, Jimmy's like, well, who even decided this? And so Jimmy was like, oh, Banana's calling the shots. But Kyle doesn't know that Banana's calling the shots. He thinks he's calling the shots. So... Um, the Traka is formed, and um, now it's time for the losing team, the green team, to actually, you know, vote in two people to actually go straight to elimination. And um, Nelson says, Leroy, I said, damn, Nelson, why you got to say Leroy? You put another target on your back. It was, But Nelson is kind of cool with gosh, so that's why he didn't say gosh name. And Leroy is cool with, you know, um, bananas. And that's Banana's boy, so it was quick for him to say that. But, like, damn, where's the brotherly love at? And so then I was like, damn, Nelson, you just said. So Nelson said Marie and Leroy. And then Josh, he said Leroy and Veronica. I was like, yes, Veronica. I just love to hear her name go. And I was like, Veronica thinks she was all safe being all quiet. Nah, let's get rid of Veronica. And so Zach, he says Josh, because, gosh, because, you know, he said, gosh, most likely because he said Leroy's name. He pro Zach would have probably voted Nelson in. But um, so Zach says, you know, um, gosh, and Veronica, I was like, yes. And Zach is feeling like me. Yeah, send her home. She's not, she's not going to win. <laughs> but we don't know. We'll find out what happens. And so then, um, <laughs> so Leroy, he votes in. Leroy votes in. Um, who does Leroy vote, vote in? I don't even know. I forgot who Leroy votes in. But then... Um, honestly, I forgot who Leroy votes in. So anyways, um, I was like, damn. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> Leroy's gonna about to go in. <laughs> Leroy's about to go in. And then Devin, Devin voted for Leroy and Veronica. I was like, yes, Devin, good job. He voted for Leroy and Veronica. And then Leroy voted for, who did Leroy vote for? I think Leroy voted for, did he vote for Cam? I think Leroy voted for Cam and he voted for Gosh. And um, I was like, oh, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> and then... You got um, Veronica, and so then, you know, then it was camp time to vote. She voted for Gosh, and she voted for uh, Veronica. But what what messed it up so bad, like, I don't think Cam might have went in if Cam would have just said, you know, Cam should have just said, you know, she should have just said Veronica's name. She shouldn't have said, oh, Brad, I would, bro I would vote, you know, Britt in, but I'm not going to vote her in because, you know, evidently she's not going to go in. She's safe. And so Britt was like, I thought we were friends. And so then Britt turns around and says, you know, um, turn around and says Cam's name. I was like, damn, 
So Cam, you're making enemies. You gotta learn how to just keep it tight, keep it close, keep your mouth, keep 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 it tight, keep it close. It's, you don't need to express how you feel unless you're actually gonna be sending that person home and they're not coming back because there's always a chance that they can come after you. So it is what it is. I was like, damn. So, but um, Veronica's going in, so that's that that's what is important. Or oh, did Leroy said Marie? But Leroy's vendetta is supposed to be Brit, but I guess he didn't say Brit's name because, you know, um, they owe him a favor because he didn't use the grenade against them or whatever, or they, they made an alliance or like, okay, he's safe for this round because he had the, the grenade. So it makes no sense for Leroy to say Brit's name in the first place because Leroy and, you know, um, Brad has been talking, so... It is what it is. And Marie, she votes in Gosh, and she votes in Veronica. So Veronica's going to be mad. Veronica comes back. Like, if they let her stay in the game with her broken hand, she's going to be envious and mad and come after people. You know how she is. And it was just so good that she was going up against Anissa. I was just like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so um, Veronica, she voted in, you know, Gosh, and she voted in Cam because Cam said her name. So... Mm -mm -mm. And so now it's time for the elimination round. But before we get to elimination round, we got Devin going after Natalie, arguing with Natalie, Natalie or whatever, because he feels like she's fake and all this other stuff. And so then the traitor goes back in, and they have to vote the people in to go to the elimination round. And Marie is lucky that you know Nicole went to bat for her, so that's why she's not not up there at all. So she got really lucky really really lucky so they put cam up there they put um they put cam they put natalie and who who was the other chick they put cam natalie and kaylee they put kaylee now i was waiting for this shit to go down with kaylee sleeping around with bananas or whatever i was waiting for that to come through so anyways they put them in natalie's kind of upset or whatever so then this is devin's time to get at natalie basically argue with her call her on let everybody know that she's playing both sides and make her look bad and also Devin wanted to get under banana skin but I don't know if that was the right thing for him to do I think Devin should have just played it low played his hand a lot safer because Devin thinks that he's going to make bananas mess up and get into his head or whatever but I think it just put more of a target on his back now that Shane's gone they're going to be coming after Devin because Devin's basically trying to get Nelson gosh and you know um everybody in their room victor at one point but you know victor went home and shane shane was shady he was trying to get everybody together to go up against you know bananas alliance because what they're going to do is pick people off one by one and it is what it is so um now we get to the elimination round <laughs> um and basically, it's like come back. Um, it's a rope in the middle of the ring, and you have to get the number eight. It's like a ring shape, and you have to pull. You have to run out onto your side of the ring, whatever. So it's eight, like in a rope. So you got to battle to get it and run to your side, and basically, then boom, you and you step out of bound or whatever, and then you're safe. Then you win or whatever. So basically, like everybody's like, "Oh my God!" Veronica's like, "Veronica's like, well, I'm just, I'm gonna do this." She's going up against Cam. Gosh, is going up against um, who is Gosh? I mean, um, yeah, Gosh. He, uh, Josh. Josh is going up against Shane. <laughs> and so, um, then all of a sudden, there's a twist, and the twist is. We have the the vets coming through. We have Derek. You know, Derek is my boy. I like Derek. Jordan, I gained so much respect for Jordan from the Dirty 30. He was really, you know, fierce. But a lot of people really stopped watching the challenge with the ratings that have went down. Because a lot of people said that um, the Dirty 30, you know, they robbed a lot of vets or whatever. And then a lot of people was ha disappointed with Champ versus Stars. I know I was. And so then we have... Uh, uh, Anissa, Anissa's there, and then we have Tori. You know, Tori is a rookie from hell. Tori done. You see, Tori thighs and shits was huge, like muscle, like you know, like sh like you know, like a Denver Bronco legs. Like Tori's a big chick. So, anyways, um, now they have to the people that are going up against 
the people that are, are going to be in the challenge have to go up against, you know, the vets. Actually, they think they was going up against each other, but they're not. So Veronica has to go up against, you know, um, Anissa as she gets hurt. So we don't know how it's going to end or if her hand is really broken and, and if it's not or whatever. But we have, you know, Shane. Shane goes up against, you know, um, Jordan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And Jordan just rocked Shane. Rocked him. Uh, made him eat dirt. Dragged him. Only with one hand. And so now Gosh is going to have to go up against Derek. And that's going to be good too. And then, you know, um, Veronica was hoping that Anissa was going to take it easy on her. But Anissa said, no, I got, I got something to prove. So we'll see what happened. And Anissa also said, for all these people think that I lost my win, I lost this, I lost that. Well, I'm back, bitches. <laughs> and you're going to see it. I still got it in me. You better go, girl. Peace. I'm out. One love. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated. From the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Now I'm going to try to go to bed. It's like 2.54 in the morning, about 3 o'clock. So it'll take me an hour to fall asleep. Then get up early in the morning and go to work. Peace. I'm out.